Today we are out in the garden. We are doing some soil tests today with my soil. We're really excited about this. We have four soil tests today. We're gonna to be testing this garden space, which is our house garden or main garden. We're gonna be testing our greenhouse space. We're gonna be testing our cornfield from last year. And we're gonna be testing a new growing space for the coming year that used to have sheep and goats and horses and dogs in it. So we'll see what that soil is like. When our package arrived from my soil with our test kits, this is what it looked like. It was nicely packaged in here and there are four test kits in here, which is kind of a nice option when you have a bunch of different spaces that you want to test. This kit runs $112.99 currently on their website. So that's about $28.25 per test per garden area. But if you don't need to test multiple growing spaces, a single test kit runs $31.99 I will include a link to the MySoil website in the description, and we do have a 10% discount code if you're interested in using that. Once we get into the test kit, there is an instruction page with everything you need to know, a return envelope with the postage already paid for, and then this is where you're going to end up putting your soil as well as a little scooper to get your soil sample collected. We're going to scoop up some soil today. We're going to get it packaged up in here for you. We want to show you this process, and we're going to get it mailed off today. So let's get our different Soil samples going. Pretty frozen. Yeah. Here we go inside some mulch stuff. Yeah, there we go. So they say we go six inches down with your samples. In the directions? Yeah, in the directions. And try to not get any debris. So try to keep all the leaves and stuff out. Just get a nice sample of soil. This is pretty, this space grew well for us. And so this is kind of a benchmark what we're shooting to try to amend the rest of our our place for. We'll do that spot. We'll do just kind of a quadrant, do four different spots here maybe. So this first test is from the house garden space. We waited until December to take these soil samples. I'm gonna break the shovel. And a frozen ground was really hard to dig as you are seeing. Next year we'll definitely try to do this a little bit sooner in the season. We got leaves this year from our local college landscape department they uh let us come raid all the the uh leaves they gathered up kind of nice there's not many trees around here around on our property next we're going to do the greenhouse and then we're going to do where we had sweet corn planted last year and then following that we're going to do that new space that is probably pretty high in nitrogen and maybe messed up from having too much manure on it for too many years while well, we are on the topic of collecting your soil sample, I should talk about soil probes. This is a good option if you want a nice consistent depth and to get the best soil sample possible. Our ground was obviously frozen when we filmed this, so we opted not to use something like this and just used a shovel instead. So if you've been following our channel, you know that we have really high pH at this house. Last growing season was our first growing season in this house and the high pH was really horrible in certain gardens and led to almost complete crop failure. So that is a big part of the reason why we are really focused on improving our soil for the coming years. We have our greenhouse soil. We're gonna thaw this out inside. Now we are out in the cornfield, last year's cornfield. old cornfield and here we go into the new growing space the new growing space it obviously needs some cleaning when we got inside this is what three of our four buckets look like I already did the first bucket but we did label everything and then we're gonna really homogenize each bucket and try to get the soil nicely broken up, it is partially frozen, and there are a couple of chunks and a little bit of debris, which we tried to not get in our soil sample, but you can see that each one of these buckets looks a lot different, and they weren't pulled from that far away from each other, but I think we're gonna get some really different results with these different batches of soil. On another note, it was also really interesting that this last bucket of soil was really wet, and the soil was sticking to my hand, 
And this was from the old cornfield, which I don't know if that has to do with it, but they weren't pulled from that far apart from each other, which I don't know, it was just a little bit interesting. So I wanted to tell you about it. So here we go. We have them all pretty much broken up. Let's finally get this soil into these test kits. Since this was my first time completing a my soil test, I opted to use this paper right here that has the test kit registration number on it and write down where the soil was from as well as on the back I'm going to write down the tracking number from the postage. I just wanted to really make sure that I wasn't going to get anything mixed up and that I would know which soil samples were from which growing space. This part right here was not necessary to write the tracking number but it helped me stay organized. When you go to register your test kit online there will be a very clear place where you put your registration test kit number and then you get to name the soil as far as which growing space it is for you so that you can easily identify it later. Next it's finally time to scoop our soil samples. So we're going to get our little scoop and we're going to get some soil and try not to get any debris in it. Here we go that looks pretty good it needs to be a nice level scoop so that's what we went with for this soil sample. This one is our old cornfield that I'm showing you right here. And we are gonna open this little container. It had a little seal on the end so that it wouldn't spill and transport, I'm guessing, and we would know it's a fresh kit. And dump it right in there. Easy as can be. Put the lid back on, give it a nice squeeze, and this is what it looked like. Now we're just gonna package it up inside of that envelope that already has the postage paid for. There is a nice little seal on it so that we can seal this envelope and that is it. I'm gonna do that for the rest of our soil samples and here is everything and what it looks like at the end. And we will be getting these in the mail first thing tomorrow morning. We registered our test kits online with my soil right away and it was really nice that we were able to track our test kits very easily from our phones just using the internet. So we saw on December 13th, they were in transit. On December 16th, they were received. And by December 17th, we were able to view our results. It is finally result viewing time. We are so excited to finally see our results. Although it really was a pretty quick turnaround time. Anyways, this is how you find my soil on the internet and just log in with your information. Once you see the main page here, you can see all of your various growing spaces, which I really like that they're just there really easily to view. When you click on one of the growing spaces, there is a lot of data for you to check out and investigate. And we do have a different video that we're going to be doing about our specific data and our thoughts on it and what it means for our growing spaces. So I'm not really gonna go into that right now. I do love that this contains fertilizer recommendations for organic or synthetic. And I notice when you click on them, it does have a link if you're having trouble finding the specific fertilizer that you need, it is linked there. So that's pretty cool. Here's the other one. I decided to click on both of them real quick. But yeah, really user friendly. There is another option, which I'm gonna show you to look at the tests compared to one another from your various growing spaces, which I do think that's kind of interesting too to see how things line up. Here's that comparison I just mentioned. And when we look at it, this is very interesting for us as far as our growing space. You will obviously have your own interests in your own growing spaces, but I thought this was a handy tool, so I wanted to show it to you real quick. Well, that's it for this video. If you wanna hear our thoughts on this soil test and what we think of the findings, please check out our future video that I will link at the end of this video and it will also be in the description as well. Thanks so much for checking out this video and we hope you found it useful regarding the MySoil test process.